Hello everyone, and today, we are back for another Lumion Legacy Showcase video, and today, we're going to be showcasing Gargolem Speed Form. We're going to be running a Nimble set with the Clutch Plushie, and this Gargolem Speed set is going to be very weird. I'm going to be running Mudslide so I can get rid of Barbs, and the moves I have with it is Return to Sender. So yes, I am running a Tech Gargolem Speed set with Return to Sender. The strategy is... Ranged attacker hits me, I go down to 1 health, I return to sender, and it gets KO. And then at 1 health, I have one of two options. I either place down Icicle Traps and sack my Gargolem Speed, or I empathize the opposing Lumion and get pretty much all my HP back. That's the strategy for this Gargolem Speed. And the TPs I have on it is 196 in the health and 200 in the speed. And I didn't know where to place the other TPs. I guess I could have put it in the range attack so Mudslide hits harder. But I put it in the energy because there's kind of no other places I want to put it. Because I don't want to get its melee defense higher than its range. But if it has more range defense, it will make it so Return to Sender isn't quite as effective. So yeah, the team I have around Gargolem Speed Form is Seer Knight. I have Luminami, Chironix, Kraptana. Solver Stratosaur and Venelin. With that out of the way, let's see how Return to Sender Gargolem Speed does in battle. Alright, we're into battle number one with Gargolem Speed. And the strategy with this Limian is to try to get an anti loot So, he has a Nova Dias, which that's going to be scary. Luminami as well. Cephalops is also scary. Snag Goop is also scary. So, there are a lot of Lumians that could actually potentially anti lead my Gargolem Speed. And that's the strategy. I wanted to lead off with a Nova Dias or something else. And then I could utilize it to my advantage. The other Lumians I'll bring, uh, I gotta bring you because of a Mutagon. So Mutagon's gonna be kind of a nightmare if I'm not careful. Also, that thing is bad news. The Samarine is really bad news. I'm gonna have to be careful against that. I'm also gonna have to be very careful against Luminami. A lot of Lumians I'm gonna have to be careful against. But I think I'm going to be okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to be okay. Actually, i got to bring Serenite because of that Nova Dias. And if I can't get rid of that thing right away, it'll be scary. I'm going to lead off with the Gargolem Speed. Please lead off with Nova Dias. Snag out. Really? Snag out. Well, that ain't great. Because it's just going to place its Poison Barb. So, I guess I'll place Icicle Traps right away. There's no reason why not to. Because if he places... Yeah, he has to swap out. Into... Please be Nova Dias. Tyrex! Really? Well, that's fine. I got Icicle Traps up, so that's good. So I... He thinks that's just a lead. But it's a lot more than that. Fortunately, I am relatively weak to Earth. I'm gonna go into the Seer Knight play because there's no reason why not to. Yes, I am quad weak to Earth. But if I can get it a uh, minus one, that could be very good. Yep, minus one melee attack. Goes for the quicksand. It's... It's one of these sets. Are you kidding? This is the set he has on Tyrex? This is the set you have on it? A quicksand set? Well, you're gonna get burned. So, I'll at least stun you for later in the battle. But a quicksand set? Really? A quicksand set. I might as well place... Yeah, how am I gonna beat this Tyrex? Well... I might as well place barbs, because Nova Diaz can swap in, so... There we go, I can now threaten it out. Quicksand Tyrex screws up specifically this Serenite. We should still be okay, though. I can go into Luminami, I get a layer of barbs down, and I get Icicle Traps down. And the Tyrex is stunned for the rest of the battle, so that's a good thing. We're gonna head into... I did not bring Luminami. Well, there's only one thing I can do, then. Go into Kraptana and just... Force this Tyrex out of the battle. So we'll just go for the... I don't think it had anything that could swap into this. I'll go for a Wave Wrecker in case it goes into Mutagon. And say goodbye to the Tyrex. So, Tyrex is dead. That's good. That's a good thing. But now, I gotta get a good matchup in. That Snag Goop is probably the scariest thing. Oh, that's scary too. Dang, I wish I went for the other move. Yeah, I gotta swap out. I have an idea, though. I'm gonna go into Venelin. Maybe not the best idea, but I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna just... I'm gonna try to go for a barter. Mud, Spatter, Samarine. Mud, Spatter, Samarine. 
Get bartered. Get bartered. <laughs> Get bartered. Get bartered, Samarine. Get bartered. Don't want to deal with you right now. So, alright. Not something I see every day. A mud spatter Samarine. Do you even have items? It's just, just tech sets? You do have I Specialty boots, Samarine? What? So that screws me up. <laughs> Gosh dang it, that screws me up. Well, it's fine. I still need to defeat the Snagoop anyway. Yeah, he's going into it. Yeah, Snagoop comes back in, but that's okay. I get a little bit of damage off, and I'm going to swap out so it doesn't just get Poison Barbs up, and then I get screwed by Poison Barbs. Although, then again, I do have the Gargolem, so it's not the end of the world, but still, I kind of don't want to take a Poison. I could also go Crab Tana, but there's no reason to, and I can go Tyranix. So yeah, I really hope he brought Cephalops. I really hope he brought one of those Limians that have potential Ice-type move. Gonna go for an Nova Blast, because there's no reason why not to. Goes for a Jet Stream, it's gonna do a ton. But, I get a little HP back, so that's good. With my Reaper ability. The Icicle Traps is doing a ton of damage to everything, which is good. I like that. I like that. Now, please go into something that's good. Samur- He's going back Samurain. I outspeed you, and you know what? I'm just going to damage to Samurain, because this thing is scary. And I kind of just want to get rid of this. So, yeah. I don't think it'll one-shot. Okay, it does one-shot, because Tyronix is OP as heck. Tyronix is OP as heck. Please have something that can take care of this. Please have something that I can... Unicorn, really? That's your last one. That is your last one. That's your last one, right? Oh no, he has one more after this. He does have one more after the Mutagon. Key sweep, don't do too much. Okay, it did a little bit, but I think we're okay. That did like no damage, by the way. Problem is, he knows that this Tyronix is not good for his Mutagon. He knows that it isn't. I just gotta hope I can get it down low enough. There you go, range attack fall, which kinda doesn't matter that much, but hey. Go for a Light Speed Ray. Save up my energy. Bag. It's now low enough for Gargolem Speed to do something. And now if it doesn't go for a Quick Punch, we're in a good position if it doesn't go for a Quick Punch. So, we'll go into the Gargolem. We'll go for the Mudslide to get rid of the Mutagon. So, we Mudslide to get rid of the Mutagon. Now, have Ice-type Ranged Attack move so I can use Return to Sender Gargolem Speed right away. Please, last one be Cephalon. Novadius works. Novadius works just as well. I'm not going to be able to showcase it to its full potential, but this will be good enough. Return to sender. Nothing you can do about this. Please, just go for attack. Frostbeam. That will KO me. Instead, Clutch Plushy is used. And guess what? You are dead, Novadius. You are totally dead. Let's head into battle number two with Gargolem Speed. Alright, battle number two with Gargolem Speed, and I was actually able to showcase the Return to Sender set. Alright, this is exactly what I want to say. He's going to see Gargolem Speed as my lead, and he's going to use Wind Tricks as his anti-lead. Either that, or he's going to go Dokomori and mess me up. So, i got to be kind of careful. I'm going to bring you for Icicle Traps, because I want to get rid of him. And... but what else do I... Oh, he could leave off a Cleone as well. But why? But yeah, I want I want him to lead Wintrix. I want him to lead Wintrix. Gonna bring Kraptana because it outspeeds everything. How am I gonna beat that Dokamori? That Dokamori is actually be kind of tough to beat. I'm gonna have to play that Dokamori really well. As for everything else, there's a Nevermare, which that's a little scary. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go with Gargolem Sweet. Please fall for the bait. That's what I'm hoping for. I hope he tries to go for an anti-lead here. Anti-lead. Anti-lead! Exactly what I wanted to do. Now, we go for the Return to Sender on the Wintrix. Now, don't set up peace of mind and go for Frostbane. Yes! Exactly what I wanted. You are dead, Wintrix. That is exactly what I wanted to do with this Gargolem Speed. Get on out of here. That's exactly... What I wanted to do with Return to Sender Gargolem Speed. Now, who do you go into next? 
Who do you go into next? Gwendolyn. I gotta swap out, because you're gonna go for the priority move, so I gotta swap out into Tyrannic. So, I don't want you to get tr priority move on me, so I'm just gonna go into this. Oh, predicted. Okay, good predict, I guess. I'll go for the Frost Beam, so you can't just go into Nevermare for free. Oh, it went Clone A. Oh, it's like the worst one. Although, what can this thing do to me? I, I know I can't do anything to it. <laughs> yeah, this thing actually counters Sherotics. Hey, that's good. Good stuff. What do you have that can hit me? Water, Mind. You have the Enchantments. You're weak to everything except for the Lumians I have. <laughs> All my Lumians can't hit this, which is kind of sad. Kind of funny, considering that this thing does have like six weaknesses. I think I'm just going to go into Soul Bar Stratosaur and try to do something, though. Stratagem won't do that much. Alright, that's fine. And honestly, I think I'm going to try... Oh, by the way, I did add High Pitch Screech to this. So yeah, I will go for the Soul Burst, and I will go for the High Pitch Screech. To get my Turbulent right off the bat. I need to do damage. This thing hits extremely hard. I'm scared of the Cleone. Really scared of the Cleone. So, yeah. Terrified of it. Gotta do damage to it. If I don't do damage to this Cleone, this thing could sweep easily. So, yeah. There's the high pitch screech. Do a ton. Okay, I did like nothing. Oh, it pivoted. Alright, that's fine. I'm fine with a pivot there. I'm fine with a pivot. Goes into Windolin again? Okay. Well, we're gonna go for the energy surge to do some damage. Ah, oh, Fatal Wave outspeeds me? Really? It's Boots! That's Boots Windolin. No, and that thing comes back in! Stupid Cleone! I gotta swap out because it's gonna dissipate. It's gonna dissipate again. I don't wanna I don't wanna go into Gargolem Speed and mess me up. That sucks. I don't wanna go into Gargolem Speed and mess me up. But I could also go into Seer Knight and do something. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the gamble. I'm gonna take a gamble here. Dissipate, right? No! That's not how I wanted to use that Lumion! Well, how am I going to beat this thing? Oh, I got slapped down. Got slapped down. So I can use this. Terrifying really doesn't matter with this Lumion, but that's fine. We'll go for Barbs, actually. Yes, you do have an Erupt the Dawn. It sucks, though, because I really wanted to use... Yeah, this thing sucks. That's where I could have had the Gargolem Speed still alive, but instead I don't. And this thing's going to be annoying to beat, because everything else is weak to this. And you're going to go for the Soul Burst Erupt the Dawn play, but there's kind of nothing I can really do. So I'm screwed. I'm screwed against this guy's team because I lost. I was predicting a Dissipate, and it screwed me. He does have a Windolin, but... That Wendelin isn't going to be able to pivot forever, so that's a good thing. At least I got Barb's up. Oh. Didn't go for the... I'm kind of shocked, actually. Didn't actually go for the moves I expected to go for. We'll just go for a Nova Blast. I don't even care if you go back into Cleone. I just want to, you know... I just want to, you to swap out of Erupt the Dawn and take damage from the Barb. So, it is good. I was able to use Return to Sender, but I couldn't use Empathize to get its health back. That would have been perfect on the Eruptodon, but fortunately I couldn't do it. Uh-oh, he's going for Hellstorm. He's trying to kick my behind now. He's trying to go for the he's trying to go for the Hellstorm now, and he's gonna try to kick my behind. Scary. Very scary. Although I think my health is high enough. I hope. I hope it's high enough. I I sure hope it's high enough. I hope. Landslide lift. Okay, my health was high enough, thank gosh. And I get a lot of damage on the Eruptodon. And a light speed ray is coming on in. He swaps out. I'm okay. I'm okay with Cleone coming in. Cleone is actually taking a bunch of chip, which is good. By the way, I did just make a PvP Cleone, and this thing could do some work. Thing is, this thing also has Rejuvenate, so I assume this Cleone is Dissipate, Rejuvenate, Stratagem, Peace of Mind. That's going to be my prediction. If it has Tsunami, it's not the end of the world. My defense is decently high on this Seer Knight. It goes for the Dissipate into Eruptodon, isn't it? 
Dang it. This thing stinks! This thing stinks. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna sack this. No, I'm gonna go into Stratosaur. Because if it doesn't go for the Hellstorm... This is risky, but I think this is the best play. Okay, I made the best play I could possibly have done there. That's good. Best play I could have done. High Pitch Screech. No reason why not to do it, because Turbulent. Yeah, High Pitch Screech does less than Jet Stream. But, yeah. There's the Cleone coming back in. It's gradually taking Barb's damage, which is good. Bang. Which does nothing. Jeez. Cleone is tanky. Gonna go for the Rejuvenate. So I'm gonna go back into this and click Slapdown. There's no reason why not to click slap down here when this thing is still a threat. Yep, there's its rejuvenate. And now something loses its item. So slap down. And if Eruptodon comes in, Eruptodon is dead. Leone, if Cleone stays in, it takes a slap down in the face. Leone stays in, it takes a slap down in the face. Which I'm perfectly okay with. Just please do a decent chunk. Oh, yes, I just one-shotted it. Thank gosh. Okay. We're in a good position to win this battle, despite losing my Tech Gargolem speed right at the start. I kind of don't know what the rest of his Limians are. There's his Eruptodon coming back in. Probably going to go for the Hellstorm. Kind of don't want to lose my Seer Knight. Oh, he has one more after this, actually. I, I have a Crabtana in the back. I'll be fine. I have a Crabtana in the back. I'll be fine. Yeah, I have a Crabtana in the back. I think I'm just going to go into the Stratosaur here. I think that's the best option I can do. Does make the good play that time. Does does go for Hellstorm. Battlefield is in goal. Alright, actually, I think I know what I'm going to do. I don't want to go into... I can't go Tyronix, because it's going to swap out. So, yeah. i got to go Kraptana here. Kraptana's the only option I have. And I'll go for the Razor Slash. And say goodbye to the Eruptodon. Yeah, it does suck, because there's that Gwendolyn that's still alive, but... It's fine. I think that's the best play I could do there, because he if I went into Tyronix, he would have swapped out and relied on Hellstorm to KO the Tyronix, which I kind of need for the Boots Windolin. So, that's why I did that. I'm just scared to know what his last one is. I just gotta hope my Crab Tonic can outspeed it. So yeah, we'll go into the Seer Knight. You're gonna go for the Fade Away. You're gonna go with the Fade Away here, I assume. Mega Chomp, actually, that's fine. Scorched by Hellstorm still. Jesus. Does a ton of damage. Just gonna go for the Surring Steel here, because there's no reason why not to. Goes for the Mega Chomp again, trying to get flinches. That's scary. Does no damage. Surring Steel does a ton. I could even get the burn, which is good. I don't I do get the burn even good. That's good. I get the burn. And the Hellstorm is gone. Gonna go for Slapdown, so he can't use his boots as effectively. So he can't K so he can't KO my Kraptana. That's probably what I should have done in turn one. Because, yeah, this thing does outspeed Kraptana, so... This could have been a good option to do on turn one, but I didn't. Yeah, okay, it goes down this turn anyway. So, yeah, there goes its boots. What is your last Lumion? What is your last Lumion? I have Barbs on the field, I have a Tyronix with Priority, and I have a Kraptana with Vengeance. And a Seer Knight at a decent amount of health left. What do you have left? Terra Distance. Could get a sweep. Very scary. Could get a sweep. Could get a sweep. Gonna go for Strength Steel. Actually, can it? Aqua Jaws? That won't do enough. It missed anyway. Alright. So, I guess Seer Knight just cleans up. Not the best battle for Gargolem's speed return to sender, but it was able to... What? <gasps> what move did it do? Oh, no. I gotta wait. What move did it do? Oh, yeah, it went Aqua Jaws. Okay. That had a lot of damage, too. Okay, it's just clicking Aqua Jaws. I think we're going to be okay. I think I'm going to swap out. Because I can give you a minus one. I can still live in Aqua Jaws. i got to sack Tyronix. This sucks. I wish. Just don't go for Drudge, for Pete's sake. No! No, no, no. No, 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 no. He might have just won the battle on that. Actually, no, no, no. I think we're still okay. We're still okay because... Go for Lightspeed Ray. I don't think that KOs it, but I still outspeed. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, I forgot about that. Secret ability. <gasps> eh, that's scary. That's scary. Oh, boy. 
This battle. Uh, this is this is not good. Kraptana, outspeed it still, please. Your specialty boots. Your specialty boots, so you should outspeed it still, right? I hope I hope. I hope. I hope. Oh okay. Okay. Alright. A little scare there at the end. Let's head into battle number three. Alright, battle number three with the Gargolem speed set. And it was a very good trap in that last battle. This one there's a Pronso. That kind of stinks. I gotta place traps up. And I gotta do it now because yeah. That thing kinda kills the whole tech. So I gotta place traps early. Thing that's good is that Barbs is amazing. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use Gargolem a speed form lead. I'm gonna go for you on the Yurshnat. Kryptana for the Metatode and that. Stratosaur looks amazing in this battle. Like Stratosaur looks amazing in this battle, although I don't really have anything for the Akalos. Not Akalos, Helvetic, so. Gonna have to be a little careful there. He also does have a Metatode that could have Thunderstrike, which Eh, I don't like that, but please just don't leave with it. Luminami lead I'm okay with, because I get to place barbs. And if he goes in the Pronsu, goes in the Pronsu, I I would really not care that much. So, we're well, just going to place a set of barbs, add pressure to his team. He really has nothing that can get rid of it, other than potential Soul Burst, other than potential Soul Burst Crackalola. And even then, it would have to click a burn up in order to get rid of it. So, that's just to disable his Pronsu or force the Crackalola coming in. Akalos comes on in, which is scary, because he has Wave Wrecker and Rogue Assault that can hit me. So, I gotta dip. And I don't know who to dip into. I guess I could technically just stay in and go for Shuring Steel. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna do it. Hydra Slash, I won't do that much. Yeah, not at all. Searing Steel? That's gonna do it. That's gonna get it down to half health. Yep, gets it down to half health. That's good. Got it down to half. It's in Gargolem speed range. Uh, kinda. Not really. Uh... Uh, Tyronix. You can come on in, then. Tyronix can come in. Yeah! That... Aklos is a scary threat. Hydra Slash is gonna do a decent chunk. R especially... If it critical hits. And let me guess, this won't KO it? Wow! I just lost Tronix to a critical hit. Fine! Hilarious! Hilarious! Hilarious. Wave Wrecker should still KO the Akalos, so... I'm not that worried. But I'm gonna still go for this anyway. Or oh, his Razor Slash is the best play. I gotta play it safe. No, he swapped into your snack. Yep, that was the best play. Your snack's gonna soak this hit really well, too. Having Tyronix dead is bad because now your snack is on the field. At least I gotta layer barbs up. So that's something. I gotta layer barbs. Probably gonna go for Baffle, which the Gargolem Speed is the best option for. But even then, I kinda don't know what to do. I really have no idea what to do here, because you could go with Fade Away. Fade Away is an option, because it's Fade Away. Okay, you're gonna go for the Fade Away. Just go for your Fade Away. Go for your Fade Away. Oh no, it just went for a Baffle. That's fine. Just went for a Baffle. I'm okay with that. I still got Specialty Boots, so... Unless it's something very fast, we're in a good spot. That's very fast, unfortunately. That is ultrally, really fast. And that could ultrally kick my behind. Because everything is weak to this move. <laughs> uh, Seer Knight, come on in real quickly. Just come in, just come on in real quickly. Weaken this Helvantic, please. Because that thing is not good news. That thing is really not good news. So we'll just... Yeah, uh, yeah that's why I didn't want to go in the other Lumion. And yeah, that thing is going to KO my Seer Knight from that range. No! Not what I want at all. Thunder Crash. Okay, it recoils itself. Could have went into Gargolem Speed there. Could have potentially went into Gargolem Speed there. That's okay though. It does get it on the field, so I can go for a mudslide, which should KO the Hobantic. It swaps out, which that's okay. Into Aklos, which dies. Alright, Aklos gets KO'd. That's good. That's good stuff. Good stuff right there. Now who do you go into next? What's the best option? Barbs are on the field, which is good. 
Luminami goes for Flash and Flea and kicks by Beehive. Uh, I kind of don't know what Luminami set you are. You could be Melee. I think I'm just going to go for a Return to Sender just to see what you are. Flash and Flea, okay, that's okay. I get to do a little bit of damage to the next Lumion that comes in, which is the Your Snack. Extra damage to the Your Snack, which is good news. Your Snack takes a little bit of damage. Your Snack takes a little bit of damage. Oh, yeah, that's definitely low enough. I don't even care if it goes for a priority move, because I have Empathize. Shadow Sprint, I could care less. I have Empathize. Oh, really? Did that really not KO this thing? Yeah, that sucks. I wish that KO'd the Your Snack. Now it just gets more chip, or swaps out. Dang it, it gets more chip. Okay. Okay. Now we're just gonna hope that that Gargolum, not that Gargolum, what is that thing called? That Helvantic? Luminami? Alright. There's one thing I can do, and it's to empathize it. This would be the only time to do it, although, is there any reason to empathize it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see what you have. Oh, that's, not high. that's not high enough. Dang it, it's not high enough. No, it's not high enough! <laughs> Dang it, it's not high enough. That's... Y'all saw what I was trying to do, but now I lost to the Gargolum. Not the Gargolum. I lost to the... Helvantic now. Or... I go in the Krabtana, do a ton of damage. But you'll just pivot the HP back, but... You at least see what I'm doing here. This is the best play I have. I promise that Helvantic just sweeps now. That Helvantic is a nightmare. That Helvantic is a nightmare. That Helvantic being alive, I think I just lost the battle unless Krabtana clutches up. So yeah, it, it is more of a tech Gargolem speed set. The Empathize is mainly just there as just backup. Oh no! At least the Luminami is low on health. That's the thing I will say. At least the Luminami is low on health. But that does suck. And now Helvanta comes back in for free. Oh, it's even worse. Metatoad, even worse. Even worse, Daw. And, yeah, we're, that's even worse, because... I don't have enough moves for all three. I still have the Cycle Blast at least. Soul Burst. Yeah, none of these moves do anything. So I'll just go for the airstrike. Kind of nothing I can really do here other than just... That's definitely a... By the way, that is definitely a specialization. Maybe I shouldn't have soul burst. I would have done more damage. It maybe made it waste its energy. Maybe that wasn't the play. I might have messed up. I might have messed up there. I don't know. If he plays a smart, he wins. Because he just goes Luminami. And just soaks damage anyway. Thing is, Helvantic, I have to click Wave Wrecker. I have to click Wave Wrecker. It's the problem. Yeah, that did no damage. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to be out of moves. By the way, that critted me. Gosh dang it, that critted me. But I have to click Wave Wrecker. And I'm out of energy for three Lumions. This isn't enough for three. And my health is actually too low to soak a Cycle Blast. So, fortunately, Wave Wrecker's going to have to do here. And... Luminami? Oh, come on. Just KO it, please. Oh, actually, no. We lost. We lost with that. We lost to that, I think. Because Helvantic KOs us now. Either Helvantic or Metatoad KOs us now. He played that smart. I could have waited. I could have waited. But instead... Oh, it didn't KO it? Bruh! <laughs> oh! Hit yourself? Bruh! <laughs> no! Really? Really, Crabtana? You couldn't KO that? You couldn't KO that thing? Uh, yeah, it wasn't Vengeance, and it wasn't Stab, so I guess it makes sense, but still. Kind of a dud way to end the battle. I, I probably would have lost anyway, I would have been out of energy, but yeah. If I didn't empathize on Gargolem's speed, I probably could have won that match, because I outsped the Helvantic, but 
Still, this is more of a tech Golem set. I wouldn't really recommend it. It's still decent. You could definitely catch it with the Return to Sender, but if the five, I don't know. I'd probably drop this with either Slapdown or Barbs, but if you want to try it out, you can utilize it to its fullest potential. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video of me showcasing Gargolem Speed with Return to Sender and Epithize. And I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!